Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton from ID People. I'm here at Wise Media's sixth EMEA Summit in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Brigadier Salim Moen from SureTech. Nice to see you again. Thank you for stopping by to chat. Thank you. Uh, I was sat in the session just now, and um, you asked an interesting question about face recognition. Yes. Um, and the comments from the panel were that face recognition isn't as ready as they would like it to be. I sense that you feel a bit differently about that. Yes, uh, I have a different opinion. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, face recognition now is probably the most acceptable biometric identifier in the world because it doesn't uh, infringe on your privacy mm. and uh, everybody has a photo, a photo ID. Or, yeah. And therefore there has been a lot of research on making face recognition uh, more efficient and more, uh, uh, let's say, more accurate. And uh, we uh, in Nadra and Pakistan started this in 2004. And to us it has been a great experience. Mm. There is no use of having 1500 cameras because human beings tend to then start looking at pictures and thinking that this is the same guy and you know, it's very difficult yeah. to distinguish. And in a city like Mexico, which, he, which mm. was what he was talking, the, the traffic is so bad that by the time a police officer can go to the crime scene or try and apprehend a criminal, he would have done everything and gone mm. away. Mm. So the only way to do is to create a deterrence is to be able to identify the person and do it. Now the question is, okay, fine, it may not be 100% correct because it, lighting is an yeah. important aspect. Uh, shadows, no, I don't think uh, shadows so make a difference. Yeah. Lighting is very important. Yeah. But the angle of which the camera actually catches the face is very important. Okay. So in PTZ cameras, where the in the command and control room where you can control the movement of the camera mm. and those cameras are available. Yeah. You can focus on the face and then at the back end you find out the identity of the person right. who is committing the crime. Yeah. And that's probably going to be a very big deterrent for all criminals yeah. when they know that they can be Recognized. apprehended. Yeah. Yeah, two absolutely. days later or one day later. Yeah, absolutely. And that's and what I was talking about, yeah. spending so much money and if you're not able to really apprehend crime. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I think there's a balance there in terms of the, the, the recognition because if the recognition isn't 100%, it's clearly not the beyond reasonable doubt evidence. But it certainly, it certainly narrows the field yeah. down, doesn't and, it? And also it's a great deterrence. Yeah. You, out of 100, if you catch 70 people, yeah. Yeah. The deterrence is, yeah. is tremendous. Yeah, it's a good return, isn't yes, it? Yes, a good return. So the return on investment is fine. Yeah. But that's not the topic you're talking about today. You're presenting this afternoon. Uh, I've been given the topic to talk about... In the uh, CEO vision. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, talk about uh, electronic voting systems and biometrics uh -huh. for uh, voter enrollment. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, today. and that's been a big part of what you've it been is, doing. Uh, because in developing countries, uh, democracy is, I think, at stake unless and until you ensure mm. fair and free elections. Yeah, absolutely. And especially in uh, now, there's a resurgence of of, uh, of having biometric enrollment and use mm. of uh, electronic voting machines or EMVs as they call in Africa. Uh, Brazil and India started a long time back with the first, uh, let's call it the first, um, the first rudimentary. Mm. Um, but they they both have a problem of not having an ID card. Right. Uh, Africa is now. Yeah. Indonesia has just started with with a voter card okay, and I think that's the easiest yeah. and simplest way to have a, a voter card which does not infringe on your privacy mm. because if you have for verification a, a device which has 50,000 fingerprints and uh, or 10,000 or whatever and if that device is stolen as it happens yeah. in the developing countries so you've lost yeah. 50,000 biometric and yeah, privacy potentially and potentially 50,000 voters yeah and here the voter card is with the person himself. Mm. So if you have a match on card philosophy, yeah. then your fingerprint is safe, your privacy yeah. is safe, everything is safe. Yeah. So this is the concept that I'm... Yeah, and I think what's important, I, I guess the layer behind that concept, which we've talked about before, is using identity to empower people. And I this think is, this is identity fundamental, identity. isn't it? And nobody's defranchised. Mm. Everybody who can get yeah, a card empowered. and he's empowered 
cast his vote and he mm. becomes an important yeah. part of the yeah. democratic system, yeah. which is what democracy yeah. is. And if we do look at the, the development of Africa, which I actually think is going to be a really exciting topic that, yes, for the next 10 years. That is the next, yes. Democracy is going to play an important role, yeah, and as you say, role. without free and fair elections. You can't have democracy. No, not real but democracy. Not real democracy. Yeah. You can have a, 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 version. a version of democracy, but not democracy. Yeah, not one we can all and, trust. And, and, and unless you have that, uh, the people will not be empowered. Yeah. And democracy basically is for the people. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that, that's the topic yeah. I'm talking about. Okay. Well, I look forward to hearing that. Thank you. I look forward to talking to you again Thank soon. Thank you very much. It's nice and talking to you. And I hope you enjoy the rest you. of your day. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you.